Hey there, welcome to the 26th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. In this tutorial, we cover the for each array method as we continue to learn about loops. The for each method iterates through each array item and executes a block of code. It'll complete when it has gone through every item in the array. Um, so this actually iterates through array items, which is extremely useful, and you'll probably use this in the future. So the syntax of the array for each array method uh, starts off with array, since remember it's a method of an array object, so array dot for each, and in parentheses you include an anonymous function. Uh, the function takes two arguments, the item and the index number. You can name these whatever you want. I'm calling them item and index just to be clear, and it executes some code. I'll put some extra items here. The item is the actual value. So for example, in our array here, we have Boston, New York, Chicago, blah, blah, blah. These are the items. So if you do item, uh, item index one, you'll get New York, item index three, you'll get uh, Miami. And the index is the actual index number i. So it'll be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pretty simple, right? OK, let's see this in action. So I already declared my array and gave it uh, the names of seven cities. So we'll do my array dot for each. It's a capital E. Uh, remember, JavaScript is case sensitive. We'll do an anonymous function. And we'll do close and open curly braces and end it with a semicolon because remember we're working with objects. Um, so the function takes two arguments. Uh, the first one's going to be item. You can call this whatever you want. I call it item just because. You can even call this city. And the second one we'll just call i to keep up with the rest of our uh, loop sequences, loop tutorials. Uh, let's output this onto the screen. So we'll do document dot get element by id output dot inner html i'm going to do plus equals to concatenate so i want to say uh like in the item number one is boston item number two is new york chicago blah 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 so the i concatenate it one more time uh use a colon and we'll do item remember item is one of the arguments being passed down plus and then we'll do a line break here and that's all there is so read over it. I'm sure you know what this is by now. Uh, I've covered all of this in the past. So we'll do update and run. There you go. So item zero is Boston, New York, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we can always do some arithmetic operations here to make sure that it actually makes sense to the user. So it's so now it's one through seven. So the for each loop iterated through each of these array items. So this is an extremely useful method to have uh, along with all the other array methods. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to the for each method. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Uh, remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net and check out the W3Schools page on the for each loop for more examples. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.